Hey guys, since it's dark outside, um, I'm going to do a video um, of my incubator, so uh, yeah. Alright, here's my incubator. Um, yeah, it's called a... Uh, Little giant, see the uh, lights on, but yeah, it's called um, the little giant, and it has two looking windows. We actually got some turners in there. There's a um, Muscovy egg. If I can turn around, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, there's one, and then the other one is right um, there. So, yeah, and then we have some turners in it. You can see the turners. They look like little egg carton holders, but they're actually not. And then when your chicks, when your chicks hatches um you get these and you take them out just like that but for now we're gonna leave them because the babies have not hatched and a duck needs to be left in the incubator for approximately four hours and then a turkey, like 12 hours. A chicken can be left left up, left there for at least five or six days in the incubator. But I wouldn't do that. But um, that's why you can build a brooder. And I'm gonna show you my brooder. Um, actually, it's not built yet. I used to have one. We took it down like not too long ago. Oh. Right, here's my old incubator. It don't work no more. Yeah. You you turn that and like well it won't turn right now. But you turn that and it sets your temperature. I don't know why it's not turning. But it also had two looking glasses. It was scratched up though. Yeah. It it got to 180 and burnt the eggs. And it made it a powder. But you can get like a box. Or you can just simply get like uh see here oh this is a perfect example you can get one of these and you can stuff it with a uh, not mulch but um you can stuff it with like straw and um bedding like rabbit bedding guinea pig bedding yeah, but um, it needs to be pretty high because they will start getting their feathers really quick. Even a duck will. But yeah, you need a brooder like that basically. Um, yeah, and then you need to attach to a ceiling like what I always used. I didn't really go on a high budget because... I do like everything, well almost everything here, we build like green, like we're not even Amish or anything, but I like just use it instead of spending money, but you can buy a light bulb for like a dollar or so, here I'm going to get on the other side, well, oh, a dollar or so. That's how much you can get them for. 
uh, mostly sometimes two or three dollars, but not much. But, um, anyway, um, if you're hatching a lot of ducklings or a lot of chickens, then you need a bigger brooder than this. And actually, I meant to show you guys this one. It's actually really wide. But if you're um, going to raise a lot of them, you need a pretty wide one. Pretty big wide one. And it needs to be decently tall. But, um, yeah. And you can hang the light bulb from the ceiling and make it, like, somewhere about from here. And you need to make it, like, one right here if you're using a small brooder. And if you have a big brooder like that, like one in the middle, because sometimes chicks will get too hot and they can't make it to the water in time since they're babies and they can die because of the heat. So, yeah, you don't want to do that. Trust me. But, um, yeah, you can use that as a brooder. But anyway, I'm with the incubator. Yeah, um, the turners, how the turners work, uh, this actually is an incubator where you actually are supposed to go in and you write an X on the, uh, on one side of the egg and then an O on the other side of the egg, and you, like, turn them, like, so many times a day, but that's, like, so hard, because if you don't turn them at the right time, they will actually die because they got to be turned for certain warmth on each side and the turners do that like right now it is ninety something you guys can't really see there's a thermometer right there but it's like 90 something something like that 99 that's what it has to be on uh to hatch your eggs so yeah um yeah but the turners they turn them for you like they have a certain timer and as soon as that timer goes ding it turns and it rotates on the other side as if you were turning them yourself but it does it like really careful and really slow and it don't drop the eggs or anything um you probably couldn't hatch a goose egg in there you probably have to turn the you probably have to take the turners out and then uh hatch a goose couple goose eggs this ain't a really big incubator but yeah it's good for ducks or chickens but um so yeah, that's my um incubator and brooder. Uh so oh, before we leave, so I don't have to say it again, don't forget to rate, subscribe, and comment. But right now, I'm gonna show you some of my well it's dark. Right now I'm gonna show you some of my duck eggs. This is how big a Muscovy duck egg is. All these eggs ain't our chicken eggs. Those are the ones we bought. But this is a duck egg. It looks green, but it's actually not because of that light bulb. And then there's another one. It just depends on how well they're fed. Now, this is a big duck egg. Because... Muscovy eggs. So don't forget to rate, subscribe, and comment. And I already said that, but bye.